Hey, hey, we're the monkeys. People say we're messing around, but we're too busy trading to let anybody pull us down. And a warm welcome to one and all. And for those of you who have not seen me before, I am the Magic Monkey. That is the Scruffy Trader. And yes, I do have my head in the clouds. But that's not altogether a bad thing. And I'll explain that as we go forward. Now today, I'm looking at a trade, but I also want to talk to you a little bit about the psychology of trading and what kind of runs through your mindset. Well, firstly, I kind of just want to give you an idea of some of the crap that I have to put up with. This is a box. A magic. I get some strange messages from time to time. Um, some of them are just damn right abusive. You know, they talk about my weight, horrible things they want to do to Winky. All that sort of stuff and it astounds me at how low the human race can become but I got one at the weekend that kind of made me laugh and well hey you ding dong shut your hole yeah apparently I shouldn't do intros don't understand that one and I am monkey do monkey say well that's just your opinion and I really don't care what you think you see ultimately I do this channel for enjoyment Are you serious there's a paid membership but those guys have all gone on to make profit and they do very well because it's not really a selling site it is a community of like-minded people in a safe environment. No more than going to a gym and paying your gym membership. I can give you the tools, but you have to use them. Nobody, but nobody is gonna give you a magic pill. And if you think trading is about magic pills, and that there is a super system, then you are delusional. You're never going to win and you're going to lose all your money so please stop trading however if you do go to your gym you listen to your instructors work your treadmill work your weights you can become some form of fitter person than what you were yesterday no way now obviously with my fine physique i am a regular visitor to the gym well i make gym in the pub but it's everybody to their own. I will never ever intentionally hurt anybody, but it seems very easy for people to have a pick at me. And I'll never understand that. And all I'll say is very simply, you do not like what I do, don't watch it. And it's that simple. There's no magic pills here, but I will guide you and I'll put you on the right path, which is why everybody who contacts me gets a response. I contacted loads of YouTubers through the years, just sort of try to get some dialogue. Not one of them gets back to me, unless I say I wanna buy their course and then they're straight into it. And I used to be very similar with the forums, but what I found with the forums is they're just full of trolls and well, basically losers. So do you really want to surround yourself with losers? No. So I haven't been on any forum for about 18 months. Cancelled the whole lot. Isn't that logical? So where's all of this going? It's about the psychology of trading and what runs through your mind. So let me show you a trade. I'll tell you how I'm going to set it up, why I'm going to set it up. And then I'm going to touch on mindset. Because believe it or not, that 
is what's going to make it as a trader and make you profitable. Because if you've got the wrong mindset, you finish before you start. So let's go up into the study, enjoy the coffee, because we all know Scruffy likes a coffee. And he loves Winky as well, because she's just come in. Um, say hello, Winky. Pretend you're at Campbell Wick Green. <laughs> this is Windy Miller. And trust me, after a wine and a curry, it is Windy Miller. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Yes, I love my life. I love my wife. And every day should be a journey and an adventure. And it certainly is in this house. See you in the study. Well, we're waiting. Okay, guys, come to my desk. So let us have a little look at the trade that I'm toying with today. So what is it, why is it, and what's gonna happen with it? Well, it's the Swissy JPY. Uh, this is something that I was talking with the Scruffs earlier on today. Uh, as you can see, there it is there. Uh, that was posted up at 11 o'clock. It's now closing on 20 to 12. But I started talking about this a lot earlier when I was doing the market watch uh, just after nine this morning uh, because I show them the sheet. I show them what I am going to potentially trade that day and why I'm going to trade it and I do it here. And then I follow it up with the reasons in the, the video of a trade idea. Uh, and it's easy found because that's in the chat part but there is a video library down here of all my strategies live streams you name it in there and then we just talk amongst ourselves um, nitty gritty on the markets whether it's forex commodities crypto indices whatever this particular channel is just for general chit chat and music because I genuinely believe you should enjoy your job hence why I'm having a bit of a sing song. Uh, I never get it. I never get it. And I'll kind of explain it at the end of the video because it's touching on the psychology of trading. And I think that is more important than creating a system. Too many people think a system is the key. It's not. And that is just the last part of the puzzle. But I'll touch on that later. But let's have a little look at what this is and why I picked it up. Yeah, I am doing my 5% as this is the running total because uh, I'm trading that as well today, which is here. I'm on the Aussie dollar with that one today. Good job. But it's actually this that I meant to pull up. Bottom tab. Uh, I do implore that you use journals. I use them every day. Um, reason being, keeps me grounded. Helps me with position sizes, helps me sort my stop losses out, all that sort of stuff. Anyway, what happened here? Well, the Swissy is very strong, as you can see. JPY is very weak. But that doesn't tell you the direction. It's just telling you there's going to be movement. Then you use this down here as a better filter. And it puts it across into this section here. Now what this does for me, it then highlights what I want to look at. I'll always be looking at cable and euro dollar. Doesn't matter what's happening in the markets, I will look at them too. Because they are big enough that they'll move every day. Um, are the conditions right for them every day? Not necessarily. Sometimes you've got to wait because today they're flat. Uh, again, I was telling the guys this morning that there's nothing in my window of the world at the moment, but I very rarely trade on a Monday. I rephrase that. I very rarely day trade on a Monday. <laughs> okay. So what's happening here? So we've got the Swissy and the US. Well, if I look here, they are both in the red. So they're technically still going in the same direction. Very difficult to judge. But the Swissy and the JPY... You have the Swissy losing ground, JPY gaining ground, pulling apart. That tells me there's good movement. And that's why I'm looking at this today. 
Now I'm looking at it on a four hour chart. Why is that? That's because my heat map tells me to. Why is that? Well, there it is. So we see JPY, it moves about 50 pips per day. It isn't a massive ATR. So I've got time, I can slow things down. So if I'm looking at a daily, uh, a day trade rather, I look at sort of hourly charts because it's faster with sort of something that's got a low ATR. I just use a four hour chart. I've got plenty of time to make a choice and see if it's right. Now the trick behind it is also the direction. Um, what I'm getting at with that is, if I'm day trading, I am market neutral. I will trade either way because there are trends within trends. In other words, a pullback could be a trend on a lower time frame. If you're looking at something like the DAX or cable, etc., the ATR on them is big, which means the retracement can be big. So if I'm going counter trend, I can still get my 10, 20 pips out of it. If I'm in a slow ATR and I go counter trend, I might struggle. So I go with the greater trend that I can visually see. Well, that's going up. You can't deny it. It's pushed up, it's come back, it's pushed up, come back, pushed up, come back. Shallow. So I'm happy for this to continue to the upside. Now you could say, whoa, hold on there, big fella, hold on. That's a red candle on a daily. Yeah, you're right. But look at the tail. The tail is very long to the bottom side, pushing up. And it's Monday. So I'm kind of expecting a little bit of pushback. But we're into a strong level underneath it. So it's broken over. And as we know, as you can see, it breaks over. Support comes resistance, resistance comes support, all of that stuff that you are shown. Which is true, by the way. Um, levels are key. I don't mind if it pulls back into it, but then I wrap it in a zone because the markets are not pick perfect. So let's have a look, see what's going on. So it's pushing down, or it's tried to push down, and you can see it's now pushing up. So if I take this to an hour for my entry, you think, an hour? Not waiting an hour to get in. Why not? How many times have you gone into the market on a five minute chart? And you've sat through God knows how much pain. For three, four, five hours. Maybe it's even five days. Um, one of the guys made a comment in the Discord group that he sat on a trade for four months. It did come well for him. But four months. Unless you plan for it. That's a lot of pain to sit through. You know, I don't like sitting through them overnight. So your time frame isn't really your issue. It's just calming yourself down. Now with this, I have two choices. I'm looking to get into this green. What is my movement to the upside? Well, to get into the middle of it is about 50. And if I'm running it all the way up to the top, there is 128. So this is a good range to play. So how am I going to do it? Well, cautiously is the word. I'm going to put in two orders in two different places. I know you're sort of going to look, what? What are you playing at? You mental, baldy little monkey, you. Sorry, there'll be a lot of that on this video. <laughs> no, there won't, sorry. Um, the reason being is because it's a longer time frame, you, you can time it where I use a, a system called Scruffy Madness. In other words, as the price goes against me, I'll buy in at a better price. The trick is to start with the original position size. So if you are at a five or a point, you might break that in half. 
and you'll start your first position at 250 and the second one at 250 further down or you could start at one pound and stage it well, that's kind of what i'm going to be doing so what i'm going to do is i'm going to put an order on the top side of this candle why that one because i'm counting three back one two three why three because you often see me do five just because it's an hour's time frame if i was down on a 15 minute or a five i would go sort of five candles back uh, on an hourly three is fine so i'm going to put the order there but i'm also going to put another one down here where it's touched before just in case it comes back to retest it'll pick the order up and come back up that's the idea and then i'm happy to re-enter the market each time till it gets below this level here if it gets below that i'm starting to think i'm wrong so between that there and there probably into about the middle i'll be okay any further than that i'm probably wrong and i'll be looking to get out but what i'll be doing with this section is i'll be measuring that out as and when but initially i'm going to put an order there and i'm going to put an order there all right just to get the ball rolling so let us put these into place so we're we buying is there and I want to get this kind of into the green so I'm gonna leave it there All right. that one there and I'm gonna put another order underneath it there put this bad boy I'm going to see if we can hold on to it because I've got a feeling Oop. didn't put it in okay. so that bad boy's going to live there place that order like so just get rid of that and I'm going to put that one up there just like so and now i'm going to leave it i'm just going to let it do its thing and why is this because it's contained it's contained between two structure points I've got a clean structure point there i've got a clean structure point there if i can get it to there that'll pay a salary happy with that if it goes once that closes out i'll just move to break even and see if this will play out as well whether it happens today is a different kettle of fish um it's a slow market and it could take a two or three days to get there we might be lucky and the markets might accelerate later on today we don't know so what we'll do is I'll monitor it at the end and I'll come back to it and we'll see whether it's good bad or indifferent and I'll also discuss a little bit about when's a good time to trade how's a good time to trade kind of what runs through your mind see you on the other side
Okay, guys, um, it's coming on to the end of the night, and it, it's. I'm just going to close it off, jump on the other camera, and sort of give you my thoughts. What I've done with this, just to recap it so you can see, because it's not going to finish out today. Probably going to take, might even take the best part of the week, to be honest, um, to slow market. And as you've seen, I've been here all day. Um, I, I posted up the videos for the scruffs, but they start between 8 and 9 on the morning. And did the update around 11ish. Finally got into this at lunch, and then I've just been doing other things throughout the afternoon. Creating my 5%ers on this screen, and that's it. Um, that's what trading is. Trading is just a job, and you methodically work your way through it. And it's now the end of the night. I'm done for the day. Have I made anything today? No, I haven't. But what I've done is I've laid a foundation for the rest of the week, which is this trade what you're looking in front of me. It is bounded between that red zone and that red zone. There is a target point there. It's all being measured out properly. There is a contingency if it moves against me to enter further in there. So that'll pay me as well. And I'm going to have that one run all the way up to the top of here. But if that one pays out, it'll pay me. And if that one pays out, it'll pay me as well. So I'm going to set my stall out, if you like, for the rest of the week. And then we'll just see what tomorrow brings. So let me jump on the other camera. And I'll give you a little bit of, well, my thoughts. Things that run through my head. Because like I say, guys. Trading ain't difficult. It's you that's difficult. Your emotions, how you look at the markets, and how you deal with yourself. But let's jump on the other camera. So at the beginning of the video, I said I wanted to talk a little bit about mindset and the way that I genuinely believe it helps you with the markets. Now, it's a difficult subject because everybody is different and we all have our own little quirks if you like now for me i take my job incredibly seriously but i need points of levity and that's why i clown around it stops me overthinking the process and as you've just seen with the trade that's playing out the process is relatively simple because ultimately the market will go three ways. It's either going to go up, down or sideways. And even in a sideways market, it's still really going up and down. It's just bounded within a range. So how does the mindset help you trade more? Or I rephrase that. How does it help you trade more effectively? Well, it's all about controlling your emotions. And I know at the beginning of this video, it was clowning around. And I was kind of sticking it in and poking fun out. And that's what helps me. Because if I didn't look at it from a humorous point of view, it would drive me crazy. And that's no good for anybody. And if I go into the markets where I'm either depressed, angry, or over anxious about something, I'll make a mistake. The same as you would in any other job, because ultimately trading is a job. You see, too many think that it's the road to riches. You're going to flip a couple of hundred quid into millions because it's kind of the way the industry is perceived. Sadly, it's not like that. And just like any other job, you have to go through your apprenticeship. And when you start your apprenticeship, you paid very little but you're doing very long hours and there's a massive learning curve. But once you've achieved it, it comes a breeze. And for me, I've honed my skills over many years. And in some ways it's very boring because I do the same thing over and over. And I'm constantly asked, oh, what about this? What about that? I'm like, I just do what works for me. I look for the same criteria over and over. Now when I'm swing trading, like kind of what you're seeing in the trade that's behind me, because I'm imagining that's going to run for a little while. Um, 
the principles are the same and I have two basic principles for swing trading. I have my zone to zone trading but on higher time frames uh, based on the dominant trend or I use a system called the river which again is a trend following process that's looking to run for probably a week to even into a month whereas what I'm doing at the moment is just kind of for over a couple of days so it's recognizing the conditions and how to apply the right tool to the right job and this is why mindset is important you see most people just think well I just need X to look at Y and I'm going to get paid X it's not that simple you need to be able to read the markets and you can only read the markets if you have a kind calm mind so I also said that I'd look at when's the best time to trade what's the best type of trade sort of thing well if you're impatient then you need to be in and out of the markets so you need a system that is gonna not necessarily run for weeks so yes your payload will be less but you'll have more action so that's kind of how you start building up your plan the time to trade really depends on yourself you can technically trade 24 hours a day I personally trade between the hours of 9 and 5 I rephrase that I put the trades on between the hours of 9 and 5 if I'm in a trade great it'll run but I very rarely place trades outside of those hours and I'm talking about day trades here uh, a swing trade I normally do it last thing at night when it's a continuation swing trade and what I mean by that a one that's going to last for a long time it's just once a day and I look at it about eight o'clock at night when or when the last four hour candle closes out look at it see what the market is and then just put my order in and forget about it swing trading's a doddle so again it comes back to mindset if you're sort of patient that is a perfect way to trade it's there's no time involved it's a couple of minutes looking at a chart you can do your homework over the course of a few days because some of these trades can take a week to come into play so you've got loads of time uh, I know a guy all he does looks at charts on a Sunday afternoon puts his orders in forgets about it and looks at it next Sunday and he does very well in fact sometimes his pip counts are a hell of a lot higher than what mine are because they're running for such a long length of time so really the crux of mindset is look at yourself you've heard my quote that I like the best know thyself it is the beginning of wisdom and that's the thing just look into yourself and you'll find your own answers but trading is not the answer to quick money and it never will be and I think that's why I get it kicked into me quite a bit you see people try and follow me try and emulate me to a degree or they try to emulate what they see fail and lash out but instead of just asking nicely and saying can am I doing something wrong here can you can you just look at what I'm doing they don't they just slag you off and it's because they're losers if you want to be a winner you roll your sleeves up and you take responsibility for your own actions simple as that I've had highs and lows in my life you know and I've had highs that some will never see and I've had lows that I wish you won't see but I never blame anybody I just rolled my sleeves up and got on with it now bearing in mind I could easily go on the sick for disability you know nerve damage in this hand all that sort of thing but I don't never claimed a thing in my life you know all my cars are paid for my house is nearly paid off in fact we're looking to buy a house this year and I'm just going to buy it outright so I don't owe anybody anything it's all done off my own merit with Winky and that's all to do with mindset I believed I could do it 
and I just cracked on. Simple as that. So, a bit of a, an odd video. It was really triggered by that odd comment. Um, and I'll say it again. If you don't like me, fine. But just don't watch me. There's no need to slag me off. Because I'm certainly not going to be changing my style. Uh, I am what I am. And that's it. And I'm happy. So if you're unhappy in your job, change it. If you're unhappy in your relationship, do something about it. Don't take it out on others. You know, Live a good life and good things come to you. And that's the only way I can look at it. So I'm going to sign it out. Uh, it looks like this is probably going to take a little while to sort of play off. Um, ish. Are you serious? But if you are stuck, just give me a shout. Um, I'm quite amenable. Uh, I can't really tell you exactly the way I trade, but if you want to see that, you'll see it in the Scruffy Squad. Um, but I'll definitely look at the way that you trade and try and point you in the right direction. Um, because, as I was saying, we're all different. We all have different mindsets, but we all have different time scales as well. You know, I'm lucky. I can trade whenever I choose, how I choose, and when I choose. Why? Because it's my job. You know, when I wake up, as soon as I sit at this desk and at work, I don't have to worry about somebody looking over my shoulder. But if you are at work, you have to sort of think around that. And I can certainly point you in the right direction. So, as always, guys, do what you love and the money will follow. See you all in the next one. Thank you.